Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. I am so incredibly happy to have you here. In today's video, I am taking you along with me over five days of some extreme cleaning, tackling all sorts of different areas in my home, just trying to keep my head above water this week. So I hope you'll take me along with you and let's get this done. So on this first day, I'm just starting off in my room trying to get some laundry done. Look, I found these glasses I had been looking for for almost a year. I literally had just put them in my Amazon cart and I was just hanging everything up, putting stuff away. And I was like, oh, I feel something in the jacket. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. I haven't worn this jacket in months, months and months and months, probably like I don't know, since August or something. And I finally found those glasses, so I was super excited about that. Anyways, I am just putting up all my laundry, all of my sweaters, absolutely love my sweaters. I use the, I guess, Con Marie style of folding. I like everything standing up. That has been um, super effective for me over the past several years where I can see all of the sweaters I have and actually use them. And whenever I go to grab one, they're not all falling down on me. So if you haven't ever done that before, definitely look into it. Um, it's been a great solution for me. I used to bounce on knees, fresh from the oven, chubby and carefree. So while I was hanging up um, some of my stuff in here, I had a scarf that I needed to hang up and I realized there was just a bunch of scarves that to me looked a little dated and I hadn't worn in quite a while. I'm just tossing the ones I don't want on the floor for now. Um, and this is just really a great method on how I kind of maintain the inventory in my home and I stay on the minimalistic side is, you know, just these little things where you're decluttering just one thing here one thing there have really been helpful in keeping the inventory on the lower end um, in my house and just makes it a lot more manageable you'll probably never see me do these massive massive decluttering sessions because i'm constantly doing these little decluttering sessions just onesies and twosies um, just all throughout the week all throughout the month um, so it never feels like this big massive overwhelming task um so i'm turning my mattress here this is a king size bed and i do rotate it quite frequently um, probably every six to eight weeks and i'm actually only turning it 90 degrees so it does it is a little off by a few inches um, but it has been really effective in just wearing my mattress a little bit more evenly so if that's something you can tolerate where the <laughs> mattress doesn't fit quite exactly right um i would definitely try it i feel like i've gotten a lot more life out of my mattress doing it that way So I'll be honest with y'all here, I have not cleaned my microwave, uh, I don't know, since like before Thanksgiving. There's lots of crumbs and stuck on stuff in there and uh, it's probably not horrible. I'm sure there's 
uh, microwaves that are a lot worse than mine. Um, but it was definitely time. I was like, just stop putting it off, get to it. So I just like to heat up um, some water, a cup of water in there. I put it on there for five minutes and it just loosens all the stuck on stuff. And then I do spray it down with my all purpose cleaner that has that rubbing alcohol in it. And I felt, feel like it helps get rid of some of that funky microwave food smell in there. So uh, just giving that a quick wipe down. So we are on to day two. I am just in the playroom or the game room, whatever you want to call it, just picking up some of the toys. My son had had a sleepover the weekend before, so there was just a few things that had been left out, and I wanted to really get in and organize the Nerf guns. They don't play with them too often. He still does here and there, um, and they he puts them away, but it was just kind of a mess. Um, a lot of the bullets get mixed in with a gun, so I like to sort those out, um, just get everything put away nice and neat. Um, again, you know, he doesn't play with these Nerf guns too often. These are really kind of that and the Beyblades are really the only toys that are left in our house and um, tons of Pokemon cards. I'm finding those everywhere. He got back into the whole Pokemon thing. So he's having fun with that. Um, but yeah, you probably won't ever see me cleaning a whole lot of toys. I don't have a bunch of little ones running around. Um, definitely in a different phase of my life. <laughs> um, but you know, it's, it's nice to still be able to pick up a few toys. I know that I only have a few more years of this left.
saw you from across the room When our eyes met I never knew That I could feel this way And it's kind of strange so I'm just in my son's room getting everything picked up. I have not gone in here and really cleaned it since we did the makeover. So it's been about three weeks and this was right after he had the sleepover as well. So there's definitely lots of, lots of stuff all pulled out and his room was just kind of messy. It needed a good mom clean. So that's what I'm doing in here, getting some clean sheets back on his bed and everything put back the way it's supposed to be. From out of town I'm hoping that you stick around Show me what it's like From the other side Would you stay another night? Cause I don't know you But I want to get to know you Just wanna get to know We are on to day three and my main goal of this day was to steam clean the couch in the game room and the media room um, and so that's all I really wanted to get done that day it does take a while it takes a lot of energy to clean those so I go in and get everything set up and this machine will not work the thing will not spray the solution um, and way back in one of my first videos like I was doing a clean before Thanksgiving I tried to clean my couches downstairs and it wasn't working and I was like you know what it's just it's always acted a little finicky I'll just try to Again later and I tried again I 
cut out half of me trying to get it to work. Um, it just will not work. So I think it's just broken. So I'm looking into buying one of those little green machines. But if you have one that you love to use, please let me know in the comments. Um, haven't purchased anything yet. So I'm still on the hunt. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, and so I didn't want to waste all the solutions. So I just cleaned this area like right when you first come up the stairs. Um, it's just a really, really heavy trafficked area. And I went over it and over it and over it. And I did did a rinse like three times and then just did another session just sucking everything up and it was still like really dark gray so uh, these carpets need to be replaced probably sooner than later um, but this will have to do for now y'all oh my goodness okay that's not bad where is it i don't even know what this is <laughs> my husband is a huge tech person and hoards all sorts of cords and tech stuff all over the place i don't even i don't even know what this is like this is an old mouse how old is this there's a keyboard in there ay, ay, ay. this is gonna be saved for another day So I'm using the damp duster in here and um, this is actually the knockoff one that I got from Timu and it does, it works well. Um, I don't know that it works any better or rather I'm not sure that I like it any more than just cleaning with warm soapy water and a microfiber cloth, but it had been a while since I had dusted in here and surprisingly it wasn't too bad. I think the last time was September. So nothing like insane results and dust that I want to show you. It just, you know, it, it was fine. It wasn't too bad.
So we are out on the balcony. Um, this area you access from the game room. And so I could tell that the boys had been out there during their sleepover because whenever I pulled up in the driveway, I could see the couch was pushed all the way up to the railing. So just wanted to get out there and put, put all of that back and everything was a little dusty. So I wanted to give it a good wipe down. I'm probably going to be getting rid of this couch. It is just, this is an area we don't ever go out there like it was a good idea in theory when we bought the house and we were excited about this space and we never use it so anything that we've ever put out there it just collects dust every six months we'll go out and clean it and we have just repeated that process over 10 years and I would rather just not have anything out there than to have something out there for it just to collect dust and create another chore for me. We are on to the fourth day. I am just trying to get my hole downstairs um, picked up, tidied up. Um, I wanted to vacuum this day and you will see me wrestle with my Tinco vacuum here in a little bit. Um, but you know, this is just kind of the usual amount of stuff that we have kind of out in the week that just needs to be picked up on a daily basis and just to keep on top of everything in our home. So I did go out and buy a new handheld vacuum. The little black one that I had, I lost the attachments to it. So it still works, I'm gonna keep it. I just don't have um, all the attachments to it. So I bought this at Marshall's, of course, that is my absolute favorite store. Um, I think it was like $28 or something like that. The weird thing is, is that on the box, it looks white. And then when I opened it, it's like this pearlescent light lavender color so um i didn't necessarily want that out on my counter so i just put it in my pantry but it works great um it's just kind of purple So I am using the Norwex Enviro cloth here um, just to give my counters a quick wipe down. I have been using these for over a year now. I absolutely love them. So you just wet it, you wipe down your counters, you rinse it out, let it dry. I think you're supposed to let it dry for 24 hours, um, but it is supposed to trap all the dirt and germs and it does an amazing job at picking up all those little tiny particles that I feel like can be left behind on a regular mi microfiber cloth. Um, and. I feel like I clean my counters a lot more frequently than I did before than having to take out a cleaner and all of that. So I love using this in the middle of the week just for a quick cleanup and I'll use it several times and I feel like that helps me stay on top of things a lot easier. Um, 
than having to, I don't know, it's not even that big of a chore, but in my mind, it's a bigger deal to pull out the cleaner and the microfiber cloth than it is just to use that Norwex wipe. Um, it is an MLM company, which I don't love. <laughs> um, I definitely have a issue with some of those MLM companies, um, but it is a really good product, so. Y'all, we are finally taking down the baby gate. I'm so excited. We have had this up for, I think, almost three months um, since my dog's surgery. He wasn't able to go up the stairs. Um, he had surgery on his leg. He tore his CCL, so we had that fixed, um, and he has been cleared. He can go up the stairs now. Let me tell you, it is so weird going up the stairs without having to open this gate, but I am so happy. I was so tired of cleaning behind it, and as you can see, I was not keeping up with cleaning behind it because there was a bunch of dog hair um, back behind there. Anyways, so I have not been using my Tenco very frequently because it has not been working well. Like I just feel like it's low suction. And when I try to turn the suction up, like the machine will just shut off. So I had looked underneath there and it was all clogged with dog hair, of course. And I thought the thing unscrewed at the bottom. So I was trying to unscrew it and it does not. So if you know how to take this apart, please let me know. I thought I had kept the manual, but I wasn't able to find it. Um, but I did clear out a bunch of the gunk that was um, all caught up in the roller and the brush and everything. Um, and then I also cleaned the canister, which unfortunately I didn't film because it was super satisfying. Um, but I had not been cleaning the filter and it was absolutely disgusting. And I've had that vacuum since August. I've never cleaned it. So here is your public service announcement. Go clean the filters to your vacuum. I am going to film the Dyson one here coming up soon. Um, that does take a really long time to clean, um, a couple of hours, I feel like to clean it properly. Um, so haven't been ready to tackle that just yet. But once I had cleaned out the Dyson and cleaned out the filter, it was working perfectly again. So definitely stay on top of it. If you feel like you're losing suction, definitely clean the filter out, get everything a good wipe down. Um, and make sure it completely dries before you put it back together. You definitely don't want any mold growing in there. So I let it, um, let the filter and the canister and everything dry for a full day before I put everything back together. But I'm so thankful it's working again and I will definitely be keeping on top of my floors a little bit better than I have been.
So we are on to the fifth and final day, just picking up my room, giving it a quick tidy, uh, making my bed here. Y'all, I actually went a two full weeks without washing my sheets. I finally did it the day that I'm recording this. Um, that is way too long for me. Definitely did not like that. But all I had in me for this day was just to make my bed and that will do. It's fine. It didn't die from skipping one week, um, but I really needed to give my nightstand um, a dusting like you can see here it is built up it's really gross um, I the next time we buy furniture I want something a little bit lighter because uh, I just want to hide the dirt maybe a little bit longer anyways I found this cleaner it's LA LA totally awesome wood cleaner I think it's a dupe for the method what is it wood for good Anyways, I've smelled that before and that method cleaner does smell really good, but this LA totally awesome cleaner that I got from Dollar General, holy cow, it smells amazing. I'm obsessed with it. I bought two bottles of it and I think I'm gonna go back and buy more because you can use it on wood, you can use it on counters. Um, I, You'll see here in a little bit, I used it on my floors, I used it on my kitchen floors. I wanted to spray that stuff everywhere. After I cleaned my bathroom, it smelled amazing for hours. Like it really smells like this high-end scent and it was only $1.25. I have to say the bottles are not the best. Oh my gosh, look, y'all, big, glob of hair anyway <laughs> super gross um it had been a while clearly since i'd wiped down my counters i didn't even notice a big glob of my hair anyways this cleaner is great the bottle's not so great it did leak in my car which honestly i wasn't even totally mad about it leaked in the trunk because my trunk smelled amazing um anyways <laughs> don't go spilling stuff in your trunk i would not advise that um but you can always transfer this cleaner to another bottle um but it's working fine for now. I would definitely recommend this product after trying it on multiple different surfaces and it did work well.
If you have stayed till the end, thank you so much. Thank you for clicking on this video and tuning in and hanging out with me today. I have lots of fun stuff planned um, for later this month. I'm working on my son's bathroom and giving that a refresh, painting, changing out um, the mirrors and doing a few things in there. And then I've also been working over at the elderly couple's house. Um, there's been some illness going through their home, so I had to kind of take a break from being over there. But I have that video airing in a few weeks, so definitely stay tuned. There's lots of cleaning, of course, my favorite thing to do, and some other projects thrown in there. So stay tuned, and y'all have a great weekend. Till next time, see ya. Is that a